Hi. Sorry I kept you waiting. I was held up in court. I'm Maxie Sparks. A.J. Neely. Wow. Can I offer you something to drink? Coffee? Water? Pina colada? <laughs> no, thank you. All right. Cool. Well, I'm going to just sit right here. Thank you. You're welcome. So, uh... Uh, I understand you have a landlord-tenant dispute. Yes. I have six months left on my lease, and the new owner wants me out by the end of this month. Oh, well, I'm sure I see a lot of people, they're trying to take advantage of a, an attractive single woman. That's what I hear, but I'm a man. <laughs> say I'm Amanda? No, I said I'm a man. No, da. Uh -uh. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, <clears throat> the AJ stands for Arthur Joseph. I work at the Queen of Sheba, where we do drag shows. Do you dress as a woman all the time? Not when I go to the gym. That's why I jog. <laughs> okay, so let's just get back to your case. Where'd you get my name? I work with someone you used to date. Uh-oh. <laughs> what do you mean? What are you talking about? Who? Jasmine Logan. Jasmine Logan? <laughs> She said you took her to Vegas. Las Vegas, Jasmine Logan. Las Vegas, Jasmine Logan. Las Vegas, Jasmine Logan. Hot tub. Oh, yeah, I'm straight. I mean, I'm cool. Uh, so I'll see you Wednesday with a copy of your lease agreement. I don't foresee any problems with the case. Thank you, Maxie. Ah, uh, no problem. Uh, uh, uh. If you have time. Well, I don't have time. No! <laughs> well, why do you ask if you didn't mean it? Men, do you think we'll ever understand them, child? <laughs> I'd like to think I know a lot about them. <laughs> well, honey, if you believe that, you just set yourself up for a big disappointment. Yeah. Men ain't never what they seem. <laughs> that we can't agree on. <laughs> May I use your phone to call a taxi? Oh, yeah, go right ahead. Oh! I love your shoes. <laughs> they big, though. <laughs> Ain't it hard finding big sizes? <laughs> hey, Miss Lady, how you doing? Do you work here? Work here? I'm almost a partner. <laughs> oh. How do I get an outside line, partner? Well, see, that's right up my alley. See, what you want to do is uh, press 9 to get the outside line. Now, what's the rest of the number? I can take it from here. Well, did it? If you need anything, hit me on my card. I'm a deaf mute. See, now, now see, that's the wrong card. <laughs> Yes, I'd like to get a cab. I'll hold. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm Greg Sparks. Uh, is there something I can help you with? No, I'm just waiting for a taxi. A.J. Neely. <laughs> Um, 
Well, listen, if you want, I'd be happy to drop you wherever you're going. Didn't you just come in? Yeah. Uh, to check my messages. No messages. <laughs> well, if it's really no trouble, I could use a lift. Well, it's only fair seeing I just got one by meeting you. Are all the Sparks men as charming as you and your brother? You met Maxie? <laughs> I'm his client. And you're leaving with me? <laughs> Damn, this is the best week I've had in a long time. vitamins or something? Oh, come on, Maxie. You don't recognize the signs. It's a woman. <laughs> Believe. you telling me you think Greg found a woman. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey, brother, if the show's finished, come on over. Oh. Greg couldn't find a woman in a copy of Playboy. <laughs> exactly what we're wondering what so greg what's your name <laughs> who no <laughs> whoever the woman is that's making you go what's up what's up what's ah! <laughs> <laughs> well let's just say that there <sighs> is a possibility of someone oh whoa you sleep with her yet <laughs> <laughs> that is none of your business uh, he didn't sleep with her yet <laughs> No, I haven't. And when and if I do, I want it to mean something. I would like for it to be special. Oh, Greg. Greg, that is so sweet. Why can't you be sweet? Well, actually, Wilma, I wanted to ask you. I'm, I'm having lunch with my lady friend today, and I was wondering if it's inappropriate for me to bring her, you know, a gift. Oh, well. That's a good idea, brother. You give her a gift at lunch, and then you get a quick nooner. <laughs> what? Greg, I think it would be very romantic to give her a gift. Something your brother obviously doesn't understand. <coughs> Excuse me? I don't understand? Bruh, bruh, bruh. Step over here. <laughs> I don't understand. Romantic gifts for all occasions. <laughs> Let's see here. Your first kiss, bam, you bust out a Luther CD. Okay? Your second kiss, bam, Luther box set. Okay? Now, let's see. We're going down up in here. First night at a hotel, you bust out one of these, let her know. And pray she fit it. Breaking up, get out of my face, I can't stand you. Michael Bolton City. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, I see this. Wilma, what do you think about this? Oh, oh, I like it, Greg. It's it's not so expensive that it seems like a come on, but it's enough to show that you're very interested. How much, Maxie? Oh, it's on the house. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, I'll see you later. Oh, cause I'm in love. Your client's here. I'll be right with you in a second. Uh, watch yourself around, Mr. Octopus. <laughs> I uh, brought a copy of my lease agreement. Okay, thank you. <laughs> a, a real nice scarf. Thank you. I got it from. Uh, don't 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 tell me you you, you got it from uh, cosmetics, right? You buy sixty dollars worth of stuff you don't need, and they throw in one of them. It was a gift. Uh, uh, Mother's Day. <laughs> A 
I'm your brother, Greg. Yeah, yeah, but not to celebrate any particular boot knockage. <laughs> No, we just had lunch. Thank God Greg is slow. <laughs> Look, I'm not supposed to tell you I'm seeing him. He's not comfortable dating a client. Well, how do you think he's going to feel when he finds out he's dating a man? <laughs> look, 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 AJ, uh, Arthur, you, you, you're going to have to stop this thing. Maxie, I'm very fond of your brother. I wouldn't let this go any further without telling him the truth. The truth? Are you crazy? I can't tell Greg the truth. If he finds out he fell for a guy, he'll be destroyed. He's already paranoid about his ability to land a girl. Oh, Lord and Lord and Lord and Lord. Greg, Greg, Greg. Oh, I, when the next time you're going to see him? Tonight. He's taking me to La Tulipe for dinner. La Tulipe? <laughs> La Tulipe? Greg is planning on spending that kind of dough. He's got big plans. <laughs> look, 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 look. AJ, Arthur, Joseph, Peter, Luke, Matthew. Look. <laughs> All y'all, you got to find, when you go out with him tonight, find a reason to dump him. But make sure you dump him as a woman. What do you mean? I mean, be ruthless, be cruel, be sneaky. I'm not that kind of girl. You're not any kind of girl. <laughs> Okay, I'll break up with you. <sighs> but let me tell you something. You're not half the man your brother is. Oh. Hell, you're not half the man I am. Come in. Oh, Wilma, can I bother you for a minute? Oh, sure, it's no bother. Come on in. Oh, you're busy. Look, I'll come back when you Oh, no, 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 Greg, come in. You sure? Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, look, now you're all upset. I'll just come back with what I'm doing. Right come in. Come on. Come in. Come in. All right. Now, what can I do for you? Look, I got a problem. Okay. Well, what's that? Well, the woman that I'm seeing is, is incredible. Oh, well, now that doesn't sound like a problem, Greg. Well, you ain't heard everything. <laughs> I mean, I've taken a rollerblading... Sunset walks on the beach, picnics in the park. Oh, well, so far it sounds like it's going really well. Yeah, well, that's the problem. I mean, we're starting to enter into a very dangerous stage, Wilma. Well, what stage is that? When they get to know me. <laughs> it's just that women always find me dull and unexciting and predictable. No! Greg, no! No! Greg, I think of you as, um, as, uh, steady. <laughs> Reliable, you know? Like a rock. Oh, yeah, a whole lot of exciting rocks out there. <laughs> oh, come on, Greg. Come on. If you want to hold on to this girl, you've got to be confident. You know, you got you to gotta be assertive. you got to say what you... On there. I'm, 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 I'm going to be assertive, and I'm going to be dynamic, and I'm going to be passionate. Hey, what's up? We're going down to the pizza shack for lunch. Y'all want anything? Uh, just cheese for me. You want your usual pepperoni, Greg? What'd you say to me? Pepperoni? I don't want no damn pizza. I ain't never like pizza. The only reason I ever ordered pizza before, because I didn't want to be the one rocking the boat. But boy, put your life jacket on, because there's going to be some boat rocking going on. <laughs> And I want plenty of it. I'll just get him pizza. He won't say anything. Good evening, sir. We have reservations. The name is Sparks. Greg Sparks. Same table right over here. Oh, that is unacceptable. No, I w we will take this one right here. Well, sir, if you insist. Yes, I do insist. And I would like some caviar, beluga, and your best bottle of champagne. Handle it. 
right away. You know, AJ, this has been the most terrific week of my life. Finding someone as special as you. I've never felt this way about anyone before. Greg, I don't want to get into a serious relationship. Well, I'm not the kind of guy that gives up when he wants something. And AJ Neely, I want you. I'm seeing someone else. Well, you don't have to stop. Why? Because I want you to be my wife. <laughs> Greg, this isn't right. You know what? You're, you're right. AJ Neely, will you marry me? Please, people are staring. I don't care. I want everyone to know how I feel about you. I want this woman to have my baby. Greg, that's not possible. Not anything is possible if two people love each other. That's just it. I don't love you. Well, baby, give it some time. Give it time. I'm sorry. Wait a minute, baby, 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 please don't leave me. I dumped him. Maxie, tell her I love her. And tell her. You told her to dump me? Yeah, but not like this. This is embarrassing. Well, he didn't exactly make it easy. Greg, I'm sorry. Wait, 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 baby, baby, baby. No, oh, no, no, baby, 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 let her go. You know what? This is your fault. How in the hell do you get off interfering in my life? Look, I did it for your own good. No, 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 no. I decide what's for my own good. Don't think for a minute I don't know what's going on here. You just want her for yourself. <laughs> Believe me, I don't. Oh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Maxie, you've been trying to bite my moves ever since the sixth grade. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Tanya Johnson. <laughs> in in Miss Andrews' class. <laughs> I was pushing her up on the swings. When she went up, she was mine. When she came back down, she was yours. She was yours. So I, I stole a few girls from you over the years. You stole 27 girls. <laughs> okay, fine. But believe me, I don't want AJ to be 28. No, you don't. I know what you're trying to do, and you're not going to do it this time. I'm going to go over to her, and I'm going to go get her a ring, and we're going to be Mr. and Mrs. Sparks. Uh-uh, brother, 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 brother. If you give her a ring, you're going to be Mr. and Mr. <laughs> what? She's a man. Look, I don't care if she's... <laughs> she's a man? Yep, AJ is a man. He's a guy. A dude. His mama had a boy. How do you know that? He's a client, and he told me. Oh, God. Hold on. sense of humor. Yeah, he could always make me laugh. <laughs> he seemed very smart. Smart? He was brilliant. He beat me at chess every time. What? Let's face it. She was a hell of a guy. 
You've done worse. 